Alright, I think we can comfortably change Howard the Duck's name from Howard the Duck to Howard the Supreme Deity because oh my gosh, this character is just so unbelievably good and like the fights that he can take like just champion quality wise like for example domino right here like this is obviously massive because this is a meta where like kushala sherry guardian they're all pretty much in the bin and when that's like the case you need to have alternatives right but here's the thing with howard uh for this meta and just in general he is a much better domino counter than all those characters essentially maybe not guardian but like the fight time is pretty equal so like this was a 30 seven second takedown equal rank fight right there almost a 52,000 score like that is so hard to beat i think that only guardian can match that against a domino or a very lucky juggernaut so yeah like his fight time for being a ramp up character is absurd it is insanely good obviously right like this is incredible fight time for a character of his caliber and i i think that uh this just goes to show that he is not really just a long fight champion he is really a champion for any piece of content now we have this mr sinister fight and this one's gonna go down very quickly this is just a rank six mr sinister and howard the duck with this heel block just completely counters him and that was a 34 second fight so yeah it's really tough to beat howard <laughs> when it comes to fight time because like that right there was insane and it's like these defenders aren't just joke defenders right like this is mr sinister this is domino this is photon right here like these defenders are serious threats so it's like the quality of these characters that he's taking of course it just cannot be argued that they aren't that relevant because they are all really really common in battlegrounds decks especially photon right here and yeah he just makes pretty quick work of photon like there are some scenarios where you have to play howard the duck a bit differently because you have to spend like the first 30 seconds or so just spam parrying and like this also applies to characters like bullseye and like other champions that gain various benefits as you hit them like with photon right here it is because of her energy charges whatever they're called for bullseye it's because of his sp1 and just any other character that like gains benefits as you hit them and like characters that you really want to avoid hitting like howard the duck is gonna be perfect for them because he like he can do insane damage with like hardly touching the opponent that is the big upside to howard the duck especially in game modes where fight time isn't as important but even in game modes like battlegrounds he still does very good fight times while being able to like do that play style so that's why howard the duck is one of the most versatile characters in the game because it is so hard to stop him because he can just do that really really dumb rotation where like you just spam parry and then he just do so much damage in like under 20 hits it is genuinely insane but yeah like it, it's so funny but of course there is like the regular rotation where you can just like start hitting them immediately like that of course is the most viable one for like dominoes for any of his other ideal matchups but if you need the other rotation it is definitely viable in battlegrounds so now we have this warlock fight here uh pretty standard stuff but this is with the power snack node and um i put a little note here like he could manage pretty tough nodes that seem to that seem to harm him right like for example power snack right here you would think that howard the duck is going to be really really bad for this but no he does just fine and this is again where like that one rotation where you just do not hit the opponent can come into play because uh they're going to be gaining power quite often with howard the duck but if you just never hit them then like that's their only source of power gain for like the first 30 seconds of the fight so like that rotation that i keep on mentioning it is genuinely really really powerful and it's really like it's really helpful for these certain nodes and like those certain characters so yeah that warlock got shredded now we have this photon here again and i almost put on the pre-fight but do not do that i mean like 
no judgment of course i mean no there will be there will be some judgment i'm sorry but like um howard was not meant to use the pre-fight like you, that i don't know why they even put it there i guess for like you know ease of use but if you can i heavily suggest you like doing it manually because you get extra furies that way like it is a pretty significant damage loss depending on how good you are when it comes to uh like manual mashing of course i have put in my my uh my fair share of time and it is paid off for sure because howard the duck is essentially like one of my mains now like besides moleman i think i am favoring howard the duck so yeah he is definitely up there for one of my most used characters and people in battlegrounds have noticed that because i hardly ever get to use him these days because he is always just banned so that is amazing uh now we have this domino fight again another rank 3 domino like he is the best counter this meta i think prowler is like 50 seconds which is of course really good right but i think howard is just i think he's just better i, I don't know like of course prowler is a very good character but when it comes to versatility i think i'm taking howard all day i know that prowler is very versatile but there's something about the duck that's just like better i think it's the fact that he is a literal duck like you know <laughs> like being a duck that gives you bonus points in my eyes uh but yeah this is the power snack meta by the way which he is you know he is unfazed by like he you would think that he would be terrible for it but no he is really really good for it still there i dropped the sp2 and yeah that was a 45 second fight 43 actually really really good stuff Fifty-one thousand score incredible incredible things now we have this rank 3 red skull here um yeah so the heavy attack of course is a massive massive factor in this fight uh the heavy attack applies armor breaks and it just shuts down red skull really quickly because it is five armor breaks and that is insane like that is I don't think there's any character that needs to have five armor breaks, but uh, Howard the Duck, he can inflict them. So hey, if they ever bring a character like that, then Howard the Duck is going to be the best option. I don't think anyone inflicts as many armor breaks as him, at least like immediately. So yeah, Howard the Duck, he has like a lot of good utility bits that like he honestly has a monopoly on. Like I would say that when it comes to armor break, like I would just always favor Howard the Duck. Like he just inflict so many uh of course there is like cgr and stuff but even he takes some time to get to them so yeah i don't know it, it's really good stuff and that was like a 50 second fight uh not too shabby over 50,000 score and now we're gonna move on to alliance war so um alliance war he is very good for like he can do pretty good fight times and let's see what notes do i have here oh it's not for these fights but yeah there are some pretty important notes for alliance war uh but for now this is just him with the tactic very straightforward stuff uh so the heavy attack which i was talking about earlier it's honestly massive for this alliance war meta because how secular is it called secular how however it's called how the attack tactic works is whenever you inflict a debuff you gain a charge right and at five charges you heal block the opponent which is necessary for this meta and it also like inflicts like a wither i guess so you want to have those five debuffs like you want to have them up asap and howard the duck with one single heavy attack counters the entire alliance war meta so that's why he is in my opinion one of the best counters to the meta i think he is the best tech counter for sure of course howard the duck is not immune to like any node right like he is very vulnerable to stun immune nodes like he is essentially just cut off completely there or so i thought because he actually does have a synergy with destroyer which does let him take those stun immune nodes it is just a whole lot slower so watch out for that but he can still do it if you are very very desperate which hey sometimes you just want to use a duck and i don't blame you because he is so fun to use and like this damage output uh, like when it comes to fight time in alliance war i don't think many characters with the attack tactic are gonna match hard to duck because yeah like this is just absurd like th these are 30 second path fights and yeah like it it's crazy stuff man it really is so yeah that was a beauty and now we have another showcase of his very odd um play style where you just you know do the parry heavy for like 30 seconds and then just start going in afterwards it, it's really fun and it's really helpful in this fight but another thing i want to like mention here 
I put it in the notes is the interaction with the wags pre-fight now this honestly saves Howard the Duck in so many scenarios uh, because the wags pre-fight can bypass things like conflictor like masochism like it, it's really really helpful and with Howard the Duck it also gives him like a longer stun duration because most most players in Alliance War they run 5 out of 5 limber so that can it doesn't like harm Howard that much because he still gains like 5 furies per heavy attack or like per stun sorry but like with the wags pre-fight you get that 6th fury which is really really helpful especially for fights with this playstyle where you have to spam parry for the first like 30 seconds or so but once you spam parry Harry, you do this amount of damage like he is crushing this Mysterio pretty much from like a hundred to zero in one single hazard shift cycle that is just unreal <laughs> like, like like that damage output is just insane so yeah like like that rotation i think it's going to be used a lot in alliance war for like those certain nodes where you have to watch out for one certain part of a scenario like for example hazard shift a uh, bleed and shock where Howard the Duck is immune to bleed, but he's not shock immune, so you have to watch out for that shock part. But now we have this Omega Sentinel mini boss, and yeah, it, it's a joke of a fight because he has those 1 billion armor breaks that just counter her completely. So, like, one heavy attack, shut down, there we go, like, that's it, fight's pretty much over. And now we go back in, we drop a combo here, 36,000 medium crit, you'll love to see it. Drop the SP2, 35 second mini boss. Uh, that is just unreal. <laughs> but now we have this uh, Bishop again. Uh, yeah, Bishop, he is kind of good for him, but uh, like there's always that chance he just drops the SP1 through block, which is of course not fun in the slightest. But yeah, uh, just another tactic fight right here. And you can see just like one single heavy attack and the heal block is applied. So that is insane. Um, I, I do fear that Howard the Duck is going to get banned very, like, very, very quickly. Maybe as soon as War 1, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but if he is, it was still fun doing these fights at least. Like, he does crush it. He's really, really good for the tactic. Um, I, like, there might be better characters. Like, you know, there is, like, Spider-Man 2099. There is Silk as well, which is a massive, massive character. So, yeah, like... It, it just depends on how the other characters perform, but as it stands right now, I don't think that there is a single tech that is better than Howard with this tactic. Like, Red Skull is fine, but I think people overrate, like, Red Skull and his versatility. I think he is just simply for Domino, uh, but I might be wrong there, but, you know, it's just, like, the fact that Red Skull is a shock character. Shock characters will never succeed that much in this game because just, like, all the top defenders have a way to counter shock. Um, but now we have this bullseye fight and it's the same exact strategy as the photon fight where you just want to spam parry and then once you have enough charges or like enough furies you just go in you do 30,000 medium attacks and yeah the fight afterwards is just over essentially now here I'm pretty dumb I forgot that I can just simply hit into the like hit into his uh stun right because it's a passive stun and bullseye is countered by those passive stuns so yeah like that's a big mistake that I did there I threw the sp2 into block also so I am not I'm not doing too hot in this fight like I'll be honest <laughs> this was not my cleanest fight for sure but Howard the Duck He's gonna go autopilot mode, man. Like, he is gonna save me who is playing this terribly. I am not... I'm just, like, not focused at all, I guess, because I just do not know what I'm doing here. Uh, I could have gone for the relic there. I could have just kept on hitting him. I just don't know why I stopped hitting him. So I, I just feel kind of dumb watching this gameplay back. But there I drop a heavy attack. I should not have done that, obviously, right? Because this has conflict there. So now it's, like, getting kind of sketchy. But, uh, no... No panic needed, we're fine, right? Just go back in, drop a 33,000 medium, and then drop the relic into the SP2, and yeah, the fight is done. So that could have gone a whole lot better, a whole lot quicker as well, uh, but you know, it was still not too shabby. Uh, now we have, let's see, we have a new path here. We have path five. This is a very, very fun showcase because uh, this showcases Howard the Duck and just like the ability to 
do so much damage in such little time of course you have to build up your furies for like the first 30 seconds but once you do that it's just game over like it really is game over and um yeah like the game plan here is to just build up the furies once we are ready knock her down and in that 12 second like <laughs> you know that 12 second window we just do as much damage as possible and then we just go all in like th that's the game plan and like I said, I've mentioned that rotation a lot, but it is so effective. It is just so dang effective. And uh, here we go in. We just drop insane numbers right there, man. Like, that is crazy. Like, just... We didn't even, like parry for 30 seconds and we do that much damage right off the bat it, it's honestly like amazing stuff uh but here we knock her down again i'm pretty sure like well after we go back in drop the combo we drop the relic and then we knock her down and yeah the sp3 we should have dropped it right there i don't know why i waited but um yeah it's whatever so there i finally drop it and the sp3 alone does like pretty much all the work so we're, we're kind of chilling and yeah really good animation if you get the perfect bonus you get to get that extra stun duration and that passive stun which is just beautiful so there we go now we have this photon and this photon is a very very important fight because this photon can cause a lot of problems if you play it wrong this is the personal space regen uh photon fight now this one is i think the most common photon fight and like patriot can't take it like mantis is very good for it obviously but even she can like mess up but with howard the duck here especially with like the secular node or like the secular attack tactic he really is like one of the top options for this fight uh if you just play it correctly like you know do the usual hard play style of just parrying for like 30 seconds and then like cashing in your damage in that very tight window like it, it's really good stuff and it is really helpful in alliance war especially but you know fight time does matter in alliance war but it's not like he's taking two minutes right he's taking like what a minute 30 a minute what even like a minute 15 for these mini bosses it's still really good stuff but yeah, like we're in the cash in part of the fight now where you just do as much damage as possible and uh, he's handling it pretty well. I think I do take a hit right there, which is unfortunate, but yeah, now I drop the SP2, I get the heal block back up and we are just chilling at this point. We have pretty much all of our furies built up. Here we go back in, in a second, get the uh, heavy attack punish, drop the relic and yeah, the fight is over because those 37,000 uh, heavy attack, or not heavy attack, but but relic crits are just crazy stuff and yeah a 45,000 sp1 crit as well just a thing of beauty a minute and 14 seconds as well so that like that's a pretty good fight time now we have this high energy diet which is a note that you think would stop howard but then you realize that howard the duck he doesn't have to take he doesn't have to use special attacks like he can just take this fight without ever seeing a like even a bar of power like it's really really fine like he doesn't need to gain power and like that's another bonus with howard the duck is his special attacks are pretty good utility wise like the sp1 heal block especially for like mr sinister or like the sp2 for champions like bullseye case in point right here but like even even like those special attacks they don't really matter for howard the duck because like at the end of the day if you just do enough damage, that really is all that matters. And like Howard the Duck, he's gonna do the damage. So it, it's really, it, it's just good. It, it's good, man. Like that's just what I can say. I can just say he's a good character. So yeah, um, this fight is going pretty well. We got some 32,000 mediums going, not too shabby at all. And yeah, he drops the SP1 again, that's fine and like one more or two more combos i guess should do it depending on the crits uh crit rng here isn't too good right now but that's okay i mean i guess like that's his one downside is like the xl or like no he's actually a large character which is surprising because like that's a pretty massive suit he's got but yeah like that's the one downside to howard i guess is his crit rate but you know stat focus just solves that problem anyway so it's really whatever but like yeah when he does crit they are really impactful crits like that 31,000 crit right there that 32,000 crit you'll love to see it uh now we have this red skull here this is path 5 section 2 red skull uh this one is a pretty fun fight um or no this is path 5 section 1 so 
of course like the the defensive strat here is to make people like the thing with red skull is he can stop your stuns if he has enough armor up so like you know if he's on heavy hitter then you can hardly ever punish him properly so yeah like that that's the defensive game plan it's a pretty good game plan but then you have champions like howard who just do one heavy attack and then you know five armor breaks happen so yeah like he just he just hard counters red skull i think he is the best non-cosmic counter but you can argue that he is just like the best like the safest counter because of like that just like that easy access to those armor breaks it is so helpful uh, but now we have this path five section to killmonger the final fight of this video and yeah so this is where you can't really utilize the armor breaks because of mighty charge but uh, you can utilize the wags pre-fight here and it, like it's just massive because there are so many nodes in alliance war that counter just debuffs in general but not just purely stun there is one node that counters purely stun and it is just the stun immunity node on that hazard shift node which howard the duck isn't even good for like even path 9 section 2 the one i open node he can still take that because he can just simply never hit them while they're stunned and still gain those furies and then cash in when they're not stunned. So like, it's so hard to stop Heart the Duck. And then like with the Wags pre-fight, you counter the Conflictor node, you counter like Mighty Charge, you counter so many different aspects of the Alliance War map with the Wags pre-fight. So I feel like uh, us Howard mains, like our main team is going to be Howard the Duck, Magneto, and like maybe someone else like the Mutants for like the Mutant Synergy. So yeah, like he is going to put in so much work if he isn't banned, but he might be banned War 1, I don't know. This might be my, like this might be the final Howard the Duck alliance for video for a while we'll have to see but hopefully not hopefully i get to use him and just like you know have a lot of fun with him but yeah uh howard the duck he is crushing alliance war and battlegrounds i think he is simply a supreme deity i think he is one of the best tech champions in the game if i'm being honest like it is so hard to stop this character and his versatility is just off the charts so yeah i love howard the duck i think he is a great rank three and yeah let me know your thoughts on howard the duck and yeah, that's about it for me.